So how far back is the... You just kind of bring it to your stomach? <laughs> yeah, you bring it... I mean, as far back as you can, really. Yeah. Okay. When you do the movement, like, I want you to, to let your shoulders go forward. Yeah, yeah. And bring them back. Really? Through, versus keeping them, like, here and locking them in place. I want yeah. them to, like, let go. Okay. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you do that... And start bringing it back. You're gonna work that rear delt. Really pinch your back. Yeah, you're gonna pinch your shoulders all the way back. Yeah, yeah. And you're gonna yeah. let it go, but you're gonna work the rear delt too. Sure. When you okay. start bringing it back again. Okay. But I don't want you to just like slump it forward. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back, everybody. This was a gym session that the whole podcast crew did together, and man, was at a good time. I think at the end of the day, the guys just wanted to work out together. Eighty each. Didn't really yeah. know how to plan that, but we had a Let great time. Go more. Should it, should it come down Forward? Forward? Yeah. Like that. There you go. Straight That's it. Yep. Yeah. So we got together to do what ended up being a chest, <clears throat> biceps, and back more. day. So we find your and definitely an odd, unusual combination, but that's what these three yahoos wanted to do, so I hold threw that backer. together. That? Hold it. <laughs> now let go. Where is there that? you go. You like one second hold, now let go. What does that mean? What does that mean? That set? Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit more. Yeah. Good. It honestly was um, a very good experiment in just kind of moving with the flow of things. This is not normally any kind of split that I would normally do. Definitely not any kind of normal uh, body part split that you would see in most routines unless maybe you're doing a full body workout. But it was it was really fun to hit it in this order. Oh, <laughs> daddy. Yeah. Let's go. What's he throwing? 190. I don't even know. 190. He just said, put a bunch of plates on there. Put a bunch of stuff on there. I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I think it's good to have these days when you're not going to be that rigid. I had literally just hit chest and triceps the day before, which was uh, probably a really bad idea. I was really sore for well over... You know, a little over 48 hours, I guess, which is unusual for me, but not, you know, the end of the world. Oh. Video's getting flagged for sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. And as you can see, we had a uh, pretty darn good time with this. It's definitely going to be a voiceover video. <laughs> yeah, I definitely I agree, Pax BJ. I know. I knew from the beginning this was going to be a voiceover video. Um... It was just a little chaotic. You know, there was no way for us to get the microphones working the way we really wanted them to. I only have two of these wireless lavaliers and, you know, in a cost-effective manner, we don't really have a way to connect more than that. Imagine pulling your elbows as far back as possible. That's what you're trying to do. You're doing it good. Man, that bicep vein's coming out. Oh, man. Now, I think, honestly, the most fun part was that this was really just like a home video for us. I left in some of these clips because um, I guess I just wanted to be able to reflect back on it one day and okay, so see all the fun we had. Just on my knees when I now, we had a lot of fun, but we got a lot of work done. Uh, right here, you're going to see I'm about to do 150 pounds on the dumbbells. I was having to give quite a bit of pointers to these guys on how to spot and help me through these lifts. And I say this here in just a minute. I had never done more than 135 on these dumbbells on my own, which is substantial. But having these guys there to help me get these in place was absolutely huge. I got it. Back, back, back. Yep, there. yep. Okay. All you. Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yep. Yep. One. Oh, you got, you got two. One more. One more. Oh, you got third. You got third. Two. Moving so smooth. Move yeah, that yeah. plate by my foot. Yep. Gone. Three. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, Jesus. You close good. This was honestly like such a fun little moment. It took forever to set these dumbbells up to get them up to 150 or 155, whatever they were at. Pretty sure it was 150. But we had a damn good time kind of messing around, really. Uh, here's Austin just walking around with the tripod stand for some reason. I guess he thought this was a good idea. But, again, I left this in there just to, you know, have something to look back on one day. Um, it's amazing how this simple little workout, which was, you know, a lot of work, but also us kind of goofing around with the equipment that I have, and the guys getting in a workout that they otherwise maybe wouldn't be able to, 
Austin goes to a commercial gym. Michael goes to a commercial gym now, but Adam still just works out at home with his Bowflex dumbbells. So he doesn't have access to this kind of equipment. And we were able to have a, a really good time with this and just move with the flow. It's not necessarily always going to be picture perfect. It's not always going to be exactly how we want it to unfold. But we can make something of it. We can make something happen. And at the end of the day, we all got a really good workout in, like I said. This was a great workout. And you know, the thing that really stands out to me is that this takes me back to the roots of why I work out. It's fun. This workout was fun. And we had a really, really good time. Now, there was a lot of coaching going on too, which was a lot of fun for me. All three of them, Adam, Austin, and Michael, are fairly new to these types of lifts or even this equipment. So Michael, he's working through some shoulder stuff still and didn't want to, you know, overextend his shoulder joint. And we were working on these single arm lateral pulls. And while none of it was perfect, not a single thing we did that day was perfect. It was just, I don't know, a different experience working out with a crew of four people. The workout took a lot longer. Oddly enough, this video is a lot shorter than most of the other ones because of the commentary that I was able to provide during the workout itself. But we were having a really, really good time right before we filmed the podcast. Um, we literally filmed the podcast directly after this. Came inside, got something to eat really quick, and got some water. And when I say something to eat, I mean like a light snack, if that. But we really just hammered it home for probably 90 minutes or more. Um Again, it took so much longer because there were four of us and we were moving between each other to get stuff done. And you can see people working in the background of different shots. Um, Austin and Michael were on a different split, or at least at a different point in the split, I should say, as opposed to what Adam and I were doing. And we just rotated. So we did some cable rows. And after that, we moved on to some single arm pull downs. That didn't get filmed for Adam and I. But you saw Michael here and Austin doing them as well. We did the bench press with the dumbbells, and then we did some machine pressing as well. All of us did that. Um, actually, I did not do any machine pressing just because I had done a full chest day, a full push day, actually, the day before this. So I didn't really want to do it, like, too, too, too much overboard. But still, this was a pretty tough workout overall for me. My body definitely needed to recover for a while after this one, and that's, that's totally fine. Not out of the realm of unusual for how much work I did in a 48 hour period, actually not even, even a 24 hour period, because those workouts were less than 12 hours apart, which was really silly to do. But I had a lot of fun with my buddies. We got together, we got to lift, we got to do the podcast immediately after this and just kind of bullshit with one another for a while there. And as you can see in the podcast, that energy carried itself all the way through that thing. So it really was the best way to kick that podcast off kind of take some pre-workout so to speak together in doing this workout and then flow directly into doing more of a long form conversation for you all you're really using your body to lift up 12 15 i think one of the cooler things for me looking back and reflecting on all this is just seeing how big of a different space we're all at with these lifts um, every single one of us is in a different place. Every single one of us is capable of more or less than the others. Yeah. And what we're focused on just as lifters and in our fitness journeys is completely different. You've heard us talk about that in the podcast before. And if you haven't, go tune in. New episodes on Thursdays. We've got one coming out here soon. I hope you enjoy it. But this was a really fun video to edit. There was a lot to cut, I'll be honest. There was a lot to sift through and a lot of just silliness overall. But... The whole thing had me just smiling from front to back. And that same energy carried itself, like I said, directly into the podcast, making the editing of that video too just as fun. Now you can see me taking down some pulley stuff. This is typical home gym behavior, so to speak. I've really rigged up as much as I can out of this, and we needed to have this pulley out of the way from the rack, or at least from the small side of the rack on the other side where I would normally put it. So we had it rigged on one of the supporting beams there. It wasn't carrying much weight. I think there was maybe 40 pounds, 50 pounds on it at most. 
on that pulley at one point. Um, and it's not supporting that whole weight either. It's just a, a bend in the pulley, so to speak. But typical gym behavior, home gym behavior, that is, trying to get creative with what you got to get the most out of your workouts. And man, do I enjoy that kind of stuff. It's not the end of the world. So there you go. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this one. This was much different than what I've normally been doing for these gym vlogs, but I have a feeling we're going to do more of them in the future. Maybe we'll do a better job at rotating through the microphones and being able to get some live commentary from all of us. There were certainly some moments that the microphones were able to pick up. I would have loved to have had just a little bit more as well, but honestly, overall, I think it worked out pretty darn well for something we just kind of threw together just to see what would happen. It's what we've been doing with a lot of this, just diving in head first, letting whatever happens happen and doing whatever editing magic we can on the back end to make it something that someone somewhere would actually want to engage with and watch. So I hope you had a good time with this one. Again, it was a pretty fun episode to edit. It was a really fun workout to participate in. And I hope you have the opportunity someday to participate in something like this with your buddies. Thanks again, everyone. We'll see you all soon. It's okay. There you go. It's better. Oh, yeah. That was better. It's just too much weight for him. I think it is. Oh. It's also, it's also his third set, so. Yeah. This is 50. 50? The thing is, and then the, the bar is 50. It's a 35. It's 50? Yeah. So it's 70. I'm sorry, 60. Yeah, it's a 35. It's 60. This is 60. Uh, so it's this is 40. 60. Those are, yeah. I typically curl 35s or 40s.